know what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I have been All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of doing the math, talking through everything I need to do. So width and length. So my heels are half the width of my foot, more or less. So five, where I want to fit to is going to be five and a quarter. So five and five and a quarter is ten and a quarter. Normally I do an inch and a half for a three quarter fullard. But I'm not going to bump the toe because we're building a swelled heel, yeah? So then we're going to thin that toe out. Okay, so I'm going to subtract a half off of that. So width and length plus an inch at this point. So I'm at 10 and a quarter, 11 and a quarter is what I need for the shoe. I'm going to put an inch and a half into it, okay, for my swell. Okay, so that's 12 and three quarter for my shoe. And that's what I would need just for the shoe itself. So I always like to start with that because then I know where to put my marks, okay? Then I would add uh, my bar width, which is another two and a half. So I'm at 15 and a quarter. We'll go with a pair of 16 and a quarters. All right, a consideration anytime I do a heart bar is you want to make sure before you apply the heart bar that they can take the frog pressure. So just come in, squeeze your frog from both directions. If they don't jump, normally they can take the frog pressure. I learned that lesson the hard way more than once, so I'm not very sharp.